Graphic Content Warning This channel is dedicated to pest control and hunting in all legal forms. If you are likely to be offended by this, then we advise you not to watch. Hiya, how you doing? Uh, sorry for a bit of a lack of content lately. It's just that really are busy um, at work and I'm just not getting time to get out. But I'm out tonight, so what I want to show you is my thoughts on this the new Wolf night vision setup. I've borrowed this off a friend, it's not mine, I haven't paid for it. So I'm just going to look through it quickly, show you it going on the gun, and then hopefully a bit later on when it's gone dark, we'll get a bit of footage, maybe some rats. We'll see what happens. I'll show you around it. Right then, so you get a nice box, decent hard case, well, semi hard case, whatever you want to call it. You flip it open, you get your box of goodies. So we've got the wolf unit itself, the torch, you get a couple of adapters for mounting two different scopes. Obviously, it gives you the choice to mount to two scopes if you want. You've got an adjustable torch mount battery charger an eye cup and various shims and bits allen keys cables to connect so it is actually nice that you get various shims with it so they should pretty much cover everything that you need to um, yeah, it's good it's quite a comprehensive kit looks well so we'll have the unit itself out first. It's quite a chunky bit of kit. Runs on a single 18650, which we're all used to by now. Um, what I do like about this unit, it's really easy controls to use. I find them a lot better, a lot easier than the PAR 007. Simple on off switch in the middle, nice focus adjustment there, and then buttons that are wide enough apart so that you're not pressing the wrong one in the dark. Once you get used to the setup, you know exactly where you are. So you've got rear focus, get your crosshairs nice pin sharp, <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, SD card slot, it's a micro SD, and then a USB by the looks of it. Uh, this is the battery port, so I say single six, 18650. Um, pretty standard stuff there. Weight wise, for all intents and purposes, it's the same as the uh, PARD 007. What I will say on this is it needs, this unit itself needs an external IR. So obviously with the PARD 7, that's inbuilt. Downside, or a little niggle for me with this unit is that there's no Wi-Fi. So everything you gotta do is, it's all downloaded via the USB cable. It's not a big bugbear, but nevertheless, it's something that the PARD 7 does, does have. So, moving on from that. I can't afford to drop this and knacker it up because it really isn't mine, it's borrowed from a friend. You've got your, if I can get them out of the bag, <clears throat> your adapters that go on, same style as the PARD that we used to and it's the sort of 
quarter turn and click into place. As I say, they do come with a couple of shims, so you should be able to get the relevant size for your scope. There's two more in the other one. So there should be plenty of fitment capabilities. I'll have a go at mounting it in a minute. The big downside for me with this setup is the supplied torch. If I can get it out of the box one handed. I honestly opened this box up and had a look inside and thought, oh wow, okay, they've sent a rangefinder. But they haven't, they've sent a big heavy torch. Now, it's adjustable for focus. 850 nanometer, single 18650 battery. Bright, um, yeah, brightness adjuster. Picatinny rail, so you can get it onto your adjustable mount. Fits onto your scope. I'll say that the sort of bugbear for me is this thing weighs 600 grams. So by the time you've got this, the torch, uh, the unit, sorry, the adapter, and all the rest of that on, you're putting an extra kilo on your rifle. Which <laughs> Particularly if you're an air gunner like me and you're wandering around on say a golf course perm where you can't drive try and do a bit of pest control it's a lot of weight it really is and I just don't for the life of me understand why this torch needs to be as big and as heavy as it is surely it would have made sense for me if you'd have supplied the unit and then supplied one of the aftermarket torches you know something like the PBI RL or even you know from an air gunner's point of view again the PBI RM even the little Excalibur they're fantastic torches and probably will perform better than this it's just for me at this weight and this bulk, this is a non-starter. Anyway, I'll get it mounted up on the gun and we'll try and get a bit of footage. So that's the unit mounted up on my Optizan CP scope which is on top of my impact. <clears throat> There's a little lever down here, just flick that, give it a turn, and she pops off. There's your little lever. Nice setup, nice and snug when it goes on. You've got room for sort of forward and aft adjustment so you can get your picture how you want it. And just push it on give it a turn she clicks into place and you're good to go so I've just shot over 57 yards um, I know it's no great distance but you might be able to see down there just on the edge of the crop that there's a gong it's what I use when I'm testing the slugs on the impact so I'm going to have a shifty round, see if I can't find some better distances and some better footage to get you. I'm just going to pan round and check different mag settings and all the rest of that first. But it's literally the first time I've been out with this, so we'll see how we get on. I've been shooting it, another little niggle I've found. Um, I can't shoot it with my hat on. So I've got to spin my hat round like a girl and wear it that way.
I've changed my gun over now, I've gone to the 20 cal launchman with the wolf unit on the back of the another CP scope and look at that what a lovely little IR torch doesn't that make sense?